Well, it's Friday and I hope that uh, you are ready for the completion of the work week and a great weekend. Matthew chapter number 17. It's my hope that this will help you this morning. Um, Jesus and a couple of his disciples are just coming down off the mount after what's called the transfiguration, a time where the glory of Jesus is on full display and God speaks. It's another one of those times where we get to see uh, inside, like an inside look at, at how glorious Jesus really is and how godly or, or God he is, uh, if that's the way we can put it. And, um, and then he comes down off the mountain and the rest of his disciples are caught up in a dispute and there were some, some problems with something they were trying to do for someone and yet it wasn't working and that's what Jesus finds when he comes down. And so let me just read it to you and then we'll make some application. Uh, verse number 14 in chapter 17 of Matthew says, And when they were come uh, to the multitude, this, the, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, uh, uh, saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, uh, for, the, the, for the lad is lunatic <clears throat> and sore vexed. And oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. And Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus saith unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence uh, to yonder place, and it shall, re shall remove, uh, and, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? This kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. That last verse kind of encapsulates uh, maybe the part of their faith or lack of faith that Jesus was pointing out to them. Uh, a lot of times we have great faith to make great claims, but if it takes any amount of time or if it takes more effort than, than we were thinking it would, we start to falter and it's kind of like Peter was willing to walk out on the water but as soon as he looked at the waves he faltered it wasn't that he had no faith that he had little faith um, and God was trying to mature his faith well in this particular instance Jesus knew they were going to encounter this they, he knew they were going to struggle with this particular one and what they were supposed to do is to call out to the Lord for more strength they were supposed to continue to uh, attempt to make healing and a cure there for this this young man and yet they they pulled back he wasn't saying you don't have any faith at all he was saying how long are you going to struggle in this uh, I give you all the power. You need to just have faith. And so I wonder how many of us give up too soon or aren't willing to uh, take the time to pray and fast for a season. Uh, prayer and fasting is a season thing where we might fast for a day. We might fast for a two days. Uh, we might pray, but that doesn't mean just because we fasted for a day or two days that, it's, that everything is going to happen the way we want it to. Sometimes we have to pray and fast. And then let it ride for a little bit, believing that God is going to take care of it. Because I think there are people out there that, that are lacking in God intervening for their health because they, they prayed once and he didn't do it. And so they're going, well, he can't do it or he won't do it. And they, they kind of give up. There are people that are still stuck in grief because uh, they, they just can't come to that place where they'll pray and fast and ask God to return or restore unto them the right amount of joy. And, and uh, then there's some that, that are bitter and hurting inside because they haven't gone to the Lord and asked him to give them the heart of forgiveness, his heart of forgiveness. And so I want to encourage you today. Maybe you're struggling in a way that I didn't even mention. Uh, maybe there's something else going on for you, a, a financial need, a, a marital need, a, a, a child need. And I want to encourage you, sometimes we are required to show a little bit more faith or have faith a little bit longer. 
And so Jesus tells his disciples, some come out only by prayer and by fasting. And so I want to encourage you, is there that person that you want to see come to Jesus, come to know him personally? Maybe it's time to fast and pray. I know that you're heading into the weekend and that's when we have our big barbecues and we have all our stuff going on. But maybe today is a day of prayer and fasting for you because there's a stubborn thing, a sin, a need. Go to the Lord with prayer and fasting. Trust him and he will come through for you. Have a great day.